Okay, I see, I see what's going on. I am like a heart throb from another planet. I like, look at this. Okay, you can already see the start of it. It is so bad. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy Halloween or early Halloween actually. I mean, I know it's really last minute to be uploading this, but this is for any of my last minute girls that haven't found their Halloween costume yet or thought they weren't doing anything for Halloween, so didn't buy anything yet or just need extra inspo because you know, there's no harm in wearing two or three or four costumes in the night. Or maybe you wanna buy this costume for any other reasons or events that aren't related to Halloween. So I don't know about you, but I absolutely love Halloween. It is my favorite holiday, like hands down favorite holiday. I'm not much of a Christmas person or anything else. Like my two holidays are summer, which yes, I take as a holiday because this is just like my favorite season <laughs> and Halloween. So, and apart from that, like my birthday, obviously, but <laughs> I personally love Halloween just purely because of the whole dressing up thing. I mean, I don't put up the decorations or in the house and things like that, but I absolutely love dressing up because it's just like gives you the opportunity to be different, to dress up as, oh shit, there's like a really good looking guy out there. <laughs> um, okay, it gives you the opportunity to, you know, like, be whoever you want to be, dress up, look sexy, look scary, look however you want and no one can say anything, although people shouldn't, like, can't say anything in general, so, you know, just do what you want any day of the year, but Halloween just gives you that extra excuse to be a little frisky, be a little just imaginative and bring to life any fantasy that you desire, so... Let's get started. I bought these costumes literally yesterday, so it was whatever pretty little thing had uh, in their like left because obviously the best costumes have sold out and well, a lot of them, they didn't actually have that much of a range this year. Um, so it was more like you have to buy multiple pieces. So I thought it would be easier just to buy the full package costumes instead. However, I did buy a couple of pieces that I'm gonna put together with something I already have. I've been really up in the air just because I haven't actually had any plans for Halloween, which has made me not get so excited about it this year. So I'm kind of leaving 2020 as like a little gap in my whole Halloween iconic costume repertoire and I'll just skip and get ready for next year. But why not just dress up for the fun of it? So I hope you enjoy this video and stay tuned. And um, yeah, I'll show you what I picked up. I'm gonna start with just a basic princess costume and this is Snow White, yes. I wish they had Sleeping Beauty, which is actually something I wanted to do. Like it was one of the options I had for this year. Then I realized I think everybody wanted to do a princess this year. So I'm really glad that I didn't go for that because I don't like dressing up like everybody else. So I'm still gonna try this on because I think you can never go wrong. Cause you know, we all wanna be a princess. I'm hoping this works out. It comes with the underskirt, headband and choker. So it actually doesn't come with socks or um, gloves. So I guess you could add, like I personally would definitely buy the socks. Okay, Dude, this costume is disgusting. <laughs> I need to complete it by putting on the headpiece one second. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe it. Okay, maybe I'll put it like normally. Okay. I mean, that doesn't look much better because I swear this is a headband for kids, but are you ready for the big reveal? Like, honestly, do not get this costume. Okay, guys, this is literally the worst costume <laughs> I've ever come across in my life. I've seen worse on other people's video reviews, but I am so glad I'm doing this review for you. Like, first, okay, are you ready for this? Like, look at how much, like, I feel like a kid. I feel like a chubby teenager trying to fit into a kid's costume. <laughs> like, can you see this? Do you see what I'm wearing? The quality is outrageous. And personally it's far too covered like i mean it's halloween 
like at least make it look a bit better also what is up with these ruffles it probably needs to be steamed or something but if we're getting a last minute costume i ain't got no time to get my ruffles steamed also it's a very like it's just, it does not feel right. It doesn't feel pretty. I'm not even gonna bother putting on the stockings. I want your honest opinion. But <laughs> they're, they're selling this I for adults, so like a sexy Halloween, Halloween costume. Really, you look gorgeous, anything can you believe? Like garbage. <laughs> Thank you, but can you believe this is 50 pounds? Five zero. Five zero. Like, Very why good. would you waste your money on this? Like, literally, I could have made better. Like, so they, like look at that. <laughs> It looks like I made it myself, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely a no from me. So next up in our packet costumes, we are going to try this sexy nautical doll. So a sexy sailor. I actually wanted to get a sexy uh, policewoman costume. You know, that's always a classic policewoman. Um, sexy maid, blah blah blah, but they didn't have any of the above, so they had this, and I actually think it's quite interesting. This is a lot better, but still, I'm very confused at what these <laughs> laps of material are. Okay, let's try this hat on there. Are you ready? <laughs> I look like I work at McDonald's. Judy, how do you wear a sailor's hat? It's like front ways, right? Or do you wear it like... Okay, if I put like less hair... Okay, I still look like I work in Burger King or something. This costume is definitely 100% a lot better than the last one. It cinches in my waist a tiny bit because you can have the option to tie it. It's not too short. I mean, it's questionably short, but I don't think it's too short, so whatever floats your boat. I'm still not going to take the stockings out of the bag because, you know, I'm not about that life right now. Um, but I definitely think it could look cute if you wear some, like, knee-high white socks and then obviously your heels and then you just, like, strut your stuff, like, howdy sailors. I don't know how sailors talk. One second. I can imagine myself working on a yacht. So what do you think? Oh my god. Okay, she likes like it. This. She likes this. I'm obsessed. Well, how would you feel if I was working on your yacht in the wait, summer? Wait, wait, wait. Like if this was, you know, like, hello I would, boys. I would want you on my yacht. <laughs> Only you. I don't want anyone else. <sighs> Actually, this is pretty freaking cool, apart from the McDonald's hat, and it's a good fit, and yeah, the sleeves are kind of cool. I find the thing at the back looks a bit weird, like a bib. Like, doesn't it look like a kid's bib or something? No, I like it. It's cool. But yeah. So okay. this is a 7 out of 10. 7. Okay. Eight. Next up, I got <laughs> this one. I... Personally, I don't think it actually looks good, but hopefully it looks good on me and I just got it because of the description. So here we go. We have a Fever space cadet <laughs> Are you ready for this? No, I am NOT a tin woman. Do I not look freaking cool? I feel like I'm ready to take on the galaxy what actually persuaded me and just like completely convinced me to buy this outfit was it said in the description box send your boyfriend's heart into another galaxy i mean am i sending your heart into another galaxy i think so i think i'm winning you over with this awesome costume <laughs> which is actually so shit okay on a real note like I think it's hilarious. Look at these boots. Okay, I don't want to flash you. Okay, let's talk pros and cons. Pros, this zips down the whole way. Really easy to put on, to take off. You know, there. It has a belt. The only problem is the belt doesn't actually give you a nice figure because it's not tight enough. And then also, it's a bit too baggy here, so it kind of looks like you could have a heart on. The gloves are awesome. Like these are just cool. I think these actually make the costume because you're just like, you know, I wish I had a gun though, because that would be even better. But this this is this is the best part. Check out my boots, ladies. 
atomic hottie costume. What do you guys think? Let me know, comment down below. Um, I personally think it is a joke. <laughs> like, it's just so funny. It's very unflattering, I find. I mean, yes, there's a bit of cleavage, but it's just so loose. And it's very, like, hot as well because it's just so plasticky. Really appreciate the shoulder pads. I appreciate the effort with the gloves and the boots. Although, I'm very disappointed because, I mean, look at them. They look like little shitty moon boot lookalikes and like elf shoes maybe because I don't know what's going on and on the picture they were knee high so I'm sorry yes she looks like an atomic hottie but I just look like a girl that wrapped some tinfoil last minute around myself you know what I mean so in that retrospect I'm disappointed I mean I suppose they did give you props but 50 pounds again for this costume definitely no and it's just very sweaty. So I would officially rate this costume a 4 out of 10, and that's being generous. I do not recommend anyone buy this, but the Snow White one was far worse. Actually, they're kind of on par. I was about to take off my costume, and then I realized, oh my god, it's a heart! That's not what I realized, but that's so sick! Oh my god, that's why you're sending your boyfriend's heart into whatever, the galaxy. The first thing I thought when I saw myself was that I look like I'm um, from Mamma Mia. You know, if you haven't watched Mamma Mia, just like you haven't lived, you have to go watch it straight away after you've watched this video, of course. And at the end, there's like a clip, I'm gonna try to insert it here, where they're like dancing and they're wearing these type of metallic outfits. And that's what I feel like, you know? So this is kind of my dream come true. So technically, if you're going to a Mamma Mia or an ABBA-themed costume party, I got you sorted. You're welcome. And last but not least, I have a belly dancing skirt already because, fun fact about me, I actually used to um, take belly dancing classes. So I still have my skirt thing, which I actually got when I was a kid in Egypt. So I thought maybe I'll just do something with that because I just had no inspiration whatsoever. I've wanted to do a couple of things, but my ideas are just so fantastic. I don't want to waste them on a bad Halloween, which let's be honest, okay, it could turn out great, but it's not gonna get the appreciation and have the night it deserves, you know? So I'm just gonna keep my ideas for next year. So I bought this skirt and a top, so I'm gonna show you what outfit I put together with that. Okay guys, so this is my DIY costume and I was going for a bit of like a gypsy type of look, so I have my hoops, the bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoe situation going on. And I would personally, okay, I'm gonna show you the outfit and then talk to you. This is what I put together. So fishnet tights. I got this brand like glittery skirt, but obviously you can do whatever you want. I feel like this is a type of costume you could just make with things you have at home. Personally, I only had the belly dancing skirt, but you know, usually people would have the top and the hoops and the skirt, like the normal skirt and stuff like that. Um, and I actually think this is kind of cool. Like I would personally do a lot more as in I feel the makeup and um, like headpiece and things like that would make like totally complete this outfit. But I think it's kind of like it's an easy one to just throw on. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know what you guys think of this. I mean, I've seen better versions, but this, again, was just very last minute, so I'm just showing you an option of using your things you have at home and being creative to come up with a last minute costume. And it is pretty cute, I think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this short video and that I've given you some inspo and also that you enjoyed my rating. Comment down below what you're going to be or if I've inspired you in any way and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course press that subscribe button before leaving. So see you next week.